right guys, welcome to today's workout. Let's train and all you need is a set of dumbbells. Let's see where this goes. I'm just in the mood for anything. It's gonna be cardio and weights, a little bit of kickboxing. Let's just work hard. The intervals will be about 30 to 45 seconds each. You'll get a little rest in between and the moves can be modified. So let's get started with a little warm up. Nice and light on your feet. Abs in nice and tight, roll those shoulders back. Nice and light on those feet. Couple more. Let's reach it up right and left. Both arms, take it down and up. Four, three, squat down and up. Abs are in nice and tight. Head is neutral when you're squatting. You, you don't want to look up, you don't want to look down. You just want to kind of look forward a little bit, out a few feet in front of you. Two more. Let's give me a hamstring curl right here. Pull. You want to get those legs nice and warm for today. Workout's going to be about 40 to 45 minutes. And you're going to feel great after. Let's double it up. Shuffle in place. Now, again, nice and light on your feet. Hold the feet, give me some arm circles. I wanna get those shoulders nice and warm. We are gonna be on the floor for a little bit on our hands and planks. We wanna make sure the upper body is nice and warm too. Four, three, give me a squat with a knee left. Again, wanting to make sure those hip flexors are nice and warm. And if you want to give it a little pull, you can. Give it a little extra help. Now let's hold it down in that squat position. Bring those arms up and just tap your toes right and left. Warming up those shins a little bit, also getting that core a little warmer. Now lace those fingertips behind. And now let's hold those toes down. Come on up. We're gonna bring those feet a little closer together. We're gonna walk down for some inchworms. We're gonna walk it out to a plank. And then just come back in. Keep the knees just a little bit as you go down and up. We're just getting started. Getting that core a little warmer. Now we're gonna hold the next one down there. Bring your feet together and let's just tap out side to side. Just getting those hip flexors a little warmer, getting that core a little warmer, reaching out the crown of the head, getting your arms and your wrists ready for what's to come. Now hold your plank, come into downward facing dog, separate those feet a little bit, and just pump those heels up and down, getting those calves ready for a little jumping. Spread those fingertips, and now hold down, bend your knees, walk it in. Give me a little jump rope. Take it side to side. Eight more is eight, seven, six, four more. Get ready for jacks right here. One of the best ways to warm up, remember, you can tap out. Anytime we're doing something with both feet at the same time, whether it's a plank jack or a burpee, you can always do one foot at a time. Four more, it's four. Three, two, and march it out. Grab a sip of water. So this is gonna be a fusion class. You're gonna do a little bit of everything. You're gonna see some kickboxing. You're gonna see some weights. First exercise, 
and everything is meant to keep the heart rate up. So even when you're doing strength, it's going to be cardio. Grab one dumbbell. We're gonna just do a squat press. Getting that body a little bit warmer and ready for what's to come. Feet apart. We're gonna press it up. We're gonna add that side leg lift. So I like to add that in, you don't have to. So chest is up. We're keeping those elbows fairly close. I can't wait for today's workout. Well, I know we're here and we're doing it, but I can't wait for the rest of it. It's gonna be fun, all different moves, no repetition. So moves may build on each other, but um, you're not gonna see a lot of repetition. So it's gonna fly right by. Use your core to help bring that weight overhead. Feeling that heart rate come up. Like I said, everything's gonna be about 30 to 40 seconds, depending on what we're doing. Last one. Good job, keep that weight in your hand. Bring it up, kick stand a little bit. We're gonna work those triceps. Triceps I like to do several different exercises for. This one's a great one. Get the upper body a little warmer. You're going all the way down, all the way up. Remember, you can kick stand the other way. Core is nice and tight, or you can have a wide stance. So that weight is going down and up. Notice my elbows are in a little bit. These kind of catch up with you. They feel very easy and then you're like, oh, my shoulders, my triceps. Really feeling it. You're even feeling that core assist as the weights go overhead. Three, two, one. Good job, put it down. All right, let's get into a little cardio. Let's start with a squat jump. It's one of my favorites. You're gonna drop down to a squat. Just squat jump. Nice soft landing from the side. We'll do lots of variations of these. If you don't like to jump, you're just gonna squat down and up. No big deal. You do you. You can make these faster. But you wanna jump. Whenever we're jumping, it's a soft landing. And when you pop up, you pop up from the floor. Meaning you're not gonna stand and jump. Because we wanna protect our knees and our hips and our ankles. Breathe. Feels good to get the heart rate up. Four, three, two, one. Next one is gonna be plank punches. This is great for the core, also for the shoulders. We're gonna punch out in front, in a plank. You can do this on your knees or your toes. I'm gonna be on my toes. You can bring it to your knees. Just make sure your butt's not here. All right, punching it out. Keeping your eyes down at the floor. Imagining that you have an opponent coming at you. You're gonna try to do this with the hips still. This is pretty cardio, a lot going on here. You're gonna punch it right out in front and retract. You're gonna really feel your core. I like to do this one in the beginning without weight because you're really feeling those shoulders. This is what's gonna give you that definition in the top of the shoulder, right here. Now you may see this in the future with a half burpee. So I love to build on these four, three, two, and one. Grab one dumbbell. Woo. Not much rest in between. This one is gonna be a traveling um, squat. So you're gonna go side to side. So you're gonna add that weight, you don't have to. And you're just kind of moving that dumbbell. So from the side, 
you want to keep it as low as you can. Drive that dumbbell down to the floor. It's kind of like a sumo because you have a slight toe turnout. Come on. Just do it. Breathe. Ooh, we got this. This one feels kind of fun. Four. Three. Feel those inner thighs. Two. And one. Woo. Grab your other dumbbell. Quick sip. All right, we are good. We're just getting started. This one's gonna be a deadlift to a bicep curl rear lunge. So fun, so good. Feet apart, deadlift, bicep curl lunge. I love this one because it works the back of the body and then you're also getting those biceps. So remember, I like to do a few different exercises for each muscle group, especially upper body. So we hit the triceps. Now we're hitting the biceps. And I also like to do a little burner, kind of focus on some of the exercises. So you may see that as well. Woo. Remember to hinge at the hip on the deadlift. You can do that with a little bent knee. that bicep. Focus. Four, three, two, one. Take it all the way down. Woo. Quick stretch to those biceps. Good job. This one is going to be a lunge tap alternating. Love this one. Open the hips. You're going to lunge side to side. This is a great one to get a little deeper into those legs. Now, if your heart rate shoots up a lot with the arms, keep it right here. But you're doing that 180 degree turn. So I want you to really pivot here. So if and when you can, bring those arms up. Notice the knees over the heel. Ooh. Really drop it down. Drop it down. Bend that back knee. You're also going to feel your core here. We're working it all. Four, three, two, one. Woo! Good job. Get two weights. All right. We're going to do a squat with an upright row. Feet apart in that sumo. So we're gonna squat, upright row. So we've done this with a deadlift in the past. Now we're doing it with a sumo. Slight toe turnout. Going nice and deep, chest up. That heart rate is gonna shoot up if you wanna go one arm at a time. Notice my arm placement. I'm not pulling back, I'm pulling up. So it's up. Feel those inner thighs. Woo. Push. Get ready for the burner. Hold the next one up, up and down, up 
We're gonna try for 16 on these burners. You can do both arms. You can do one arm at a time. Oh. I'm feeling it. If it's hard to finish, you know you have the right weight. I know home workouts, you have to kind of take what you have at home, but make the most of it. Mix it up, do some body weight workouts. Four more. Three more. Elbows up. Two. Last one. Woo, put it down. Actually put one weight down. We're gonna build on that. We're gonna do an alternating sumo clean and press. So you bring that weight, you have your feet wide with a slight, slight toe turnout. You're gonna grab that weight, go down for it, up, grab it with the other hand. The key here is staying down when you transfer from hand to hand. I like to keep it really nice and clean. So I like to extend that arm, the opposite arm, a little harder. So you can have that hand on your hip, on your leg. But I want you to go deep here. Woo. Feel those legs. This is gonna build into something else. So even though you don't see exactly the same exercise, you may see a variation of it. Meaning, you can always come back to where you were, right? You can always do this option when we add on. Woo. Last one. Grab that one weight again. Woo. All right. This one doesn't look like much, but it is. You're going to jump with both feet to the side and bring that weight up just in front of your face. So it's lateral, lateral. Again, if you don't like the jump with both feet, take it right here. No big deal. You can build. Notice I'm not going overhead. I'm working the front of the shoulder. Woo. Push. Push. Feel it build. Soften the knees. You know your option. This is a lot of core right here. Woo. You know how hard it is to move both feet at the same time on your core. Four, three, two, and one. Woo. Give me that weight again. So we're gonna do that same move. Two choices, clean and press, alternating. You can do a drop squat to go down. You know what, let's do some of the drop, drop squats first before I move into that one. So let's keep that weight there as a target. This is your drop squat. I'm just gonna move to the side so you can see. Then you're landing in that sumo. So you can touch the floor, but your chest is up. You're using the legs, a little inner and outer thigh. Four, three, two, one. Good. All right, little recovery. We're gonna do that same move. Clean and press with the drop squat. So feet apart, chest up, clean and press, put it down, drop squat. Right there. Good job. Now, if you don't like to drop squat, no big deal. Just go to that alternating clean and press. There's a little sense of urgency here. As you move quick, but don't miss any of the steps in between to really target those inner and outer thighs, chest, shoulders, and back. Woo! Breathe. 
working everything with this workout. Four, three, two, and one. Get a quick drink. Woo! All right. Put that weight to the side. All right, remember those punches? All right, we're gonna punch, punch, half burpees. This is gonna get right, you ready for full burpees. So, you don't have to jump both feet in, you can tap, tap. So, shoulders are fired up. You're gonna punch, punch, in, out. Punch, punch, in, out. Punch, punch, in, out. So if you don't like to in, out, you can do this. Okay? Or you can just do the punches like we did last time. Right? Getting a little more core here. Push. Now you can alternate your lead. Sometimes leading with the right. Sometimes leading with the left. That core is tight though. Try to do it without moving the hips. Get ready for your burner. Just a half burpee for 16, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, these shoulder rolls. Good job. Water whenever you need it. Just keep the body moving. Nice job. I know those shoulders are feeling it from the cleaner press and from the punches. All good, right? All right. You're gonna get one weight again for rear triceps. Remember I said I like to work with tricep in a number of ways. Right now, we're just gonna use one dumbbell. You can use two if you have light. I like to do this with palms up. Feel how hard your core has to work here. No real chance of swinging here. What you wanna do is focus on the tricep, lifting the arm up. Your core is tight. Just breathe. So, now, you don't wanna do this. Okay, keep some accountability here. Keep the weight, you can also kick stand it. If that's more comfortable, We're almost there. I know these kill. Just draw your shoulders down the back. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Nice work. Next one, alternating lunge with a push out. This is not only great for the shoulders, it's great for the core and the legs. And then we're gonna add a little air. So you're gonna start with your feet together. You're gonna take a side lunge with the inside leg, uh, straight, and side to side it. Inside leg is straight, outside leg is bent. Side lunge, I want you to set before you extend those arms. So set those legs. I'm gonna do this from the side. You can see where my elbows are pulling in. Push the hips back and then push off to come into center. Push off to come into center, you got it. Push off. Keep that weight at chest height. Breathe. I know the front of the chest is feeling it. Front of the shoulder. I should say your chest is feeling it. Your chest is in the front of your body. Whew. I just want to target the front out. Last one. Good job. Whew. Open it up a little bit. Give me some arm circles real quick here. All right. Good. Remember that queen and press? Alternating this time, we're gonna do it with a half burpee. You already know the half burpee. 
This is gonna feel good. I'm gonna do it from the side. You're gonna go down, get it. Put your hands down. So I still want that low to change. Get low. Now, if you don't like this variation, you can go back to the drop squat. You can go back to with no jump at all. That's the beauty of it. You do you, but know when you can push and know when you need to back off. Now, I want you to get low here when you get the weight. That's what's gonna get the inner thighs. Getting that core nice and strong. These are fun. Remember that. Two more. Last one. Whew. Good job. All right, get your other weight. Little rear chain. Then we'll go back to front. All right, you have a deadlift, palms are facing each other. Deadlift, row, come up. There will definitely be a burner on this one of just a row. Options, you can bend your knees. Another option, you can just do one on at a time. Right? So we are getting each muscle group multiple times. And then with a burner to focus, notice how I'm dipping forward, reaching the crown of my head, looking at the floor. That's what I want for you. Once you get the move, you're just gonna look down at the floor. I want you to push hard into those heels and push off, feel those hamstrings. Try not to lean back. Try not to lean back when you come up. Just come up to standing. Now the knees are not locked here. There's some, always a little micro bend. I want you to use your muscle. Get ready for the burner. We have 16 rows right here. You can bend your knees. You can alternate it. Three, four, hands light. Five, six, press away. Seven, eight, back is still. Eight, squeeze your core. Hips are back. Four. Four. Three. Two. One. Push in your heels. Come up. Woo! Good job. A few shoulder rolls. Good job. Woo! One weight. Next move is cardio. Remember those side lunges we did? We're going to do them, but we're going to press up in the air. So we did them with the press out, this one. This time, we're gonna go down, up, down, up, down, up. Inside leg is straight. If you don't like it with the overhead press, take it out. If you don't like the jump, take it out. But do you, in a good, positive way, push yourself when you can. I'm gonna do this one from the side, and then I'll move to the front. Send your hips back. There's a little jump, but not hard. No impact, really. Even though that weight is overhead, you're not really um, straight overhead. You're on a little bit of an angle in front of you. I'm gonna go a little deeper on the squat, on the lunge. Four, three, two, and one. Ooh, put it down. Ah, let me check my time. Ooh, we're good. All right. Next one. This one's gonna be for the glutes. Both weights, ski or swing. 
not a big squat. You're gonna squeeze, squeeze, okay? Don't lean back. You're gonna have one weight in each hand. Woo! It's a good one. All right, feet apart. Slice it in the knee, waist in front, bring it back. It takes a couple of reps to get into it. Think about you're skiing and you're sitting back in your boots. It's a little heavier weight than our dumbbell swing with the feet wider. A little bit more for the legs. I'm not doing a lot of talking. Squeeze. Abs and glutes. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good job. Woo! All right. We're going to take it down the floor. First one is for the core. Obliques. And then we'll do a little cardio. We've got a little break in between, but we'll be down for a little bit. So this one's a long, this is great on the inner and outer thigh. Long toe tap and a plank. Get in a high plank if you need a little stretch. Take it back. You're gonna keep those hips down and isolate, bringing that toe to the side. If you need a variation, bend your knee. That's fine too. Breathe. It helps you tighten the core. body and core that burner kind of challenge. But let's start with the plank jack. Ready? Go. So you can be right here. You can be here. More lateral. Now, when you're ready, when you go out, you're going to add a tap. The shoulder tap. You don't have to. A lot of core here, a lot of arm, a lot of cardio. Oh. Four, three, two, one. Oh. Tough. Shoulder roll, good job. All right. Like I said, we're gonna do some kickboxing. Little leg like, focus. Woo. Breathe. All right. One weight. We're gonna do a lunge to an overhead press with rotation. This is where the kickboxing comes in. We're almost there. We have about five minutes. Give it to me. Give it to yourself. One weight. We're going to pivot. Low lunge. Up. Now we only have one weight. So I want it to be a little quicker. Ready? 
really drop it low. And then come up high. Coming down a straight angle in front of you. Getting that rotation. Knee over heel. I'm slowing down already. You can feel it. It's hard. We're at the end here. This is where you have to push. It's where you have to find it. And you're going to feel so good when you do. Last one, hold it down. Pulse. Now notice I'm not here with my upper body. I'm moving my legs. Now, take that weight down, come up, punch with a jump, wind it up and punch. If you don't like the jump, just really hit it hard from your shoulder. Punch lower and lower, come on. Really feel that left glute. Recover. <sighs> Get those legs. Whew. No arms. Just tap. Recover here. All right. Next one. Before we go on to the other side. All right. Two choices. You can do three-point abs, or you can do up and overs, or actually three options, or you can do wide mountain climbers. I'll show you one, two, three, we do the other side, and we're pretty done. All right. Up and overs, or variation, wide mountain climber. Okay, three point abs. Side, center, side, center, or side, center, side, center. Pick your poison. You have about 30 seconds. We're gonna do this again after we do the one with the weights, with the punches, okay? So we'll revisit. Pick one. I'm gonna do up and overs. Get ready. Hands under your shoulders. Core tight. Go. I'm not going to do a lot of talking here. Pretty spent. Really get low. 
We all have a better side. This is my less flexible side. So I'm having a little bit more trouble. So just do you. Do the best you can. Every time. Come on. Push. You know we're near the end. The beauty of this workout is we work it all. Everything. Fun different exercises every time. One more. Hold it down, pulse. And move back. Make sure your leg's moving. Use that weight or not. Abs are tight. Really push it up front heel. Eight more. Eight. Four more. Hold it down. Put that weight down. Come up. Right hand by your chin. Now I want your legs to take you down. Now you can stay here. But I don't want you here, okay? Get down every time. Use those legs. Soft landing. Hammer punch. Use that shoulder. Use that oblique. I know you're feeling that right glute. Come on. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Pick those knees up. Good job. Good job. All right. One more cardio blast. And we're done. Woo. So remember, wide mountain climber, up and over, three point outs. 30 seconds. I'm gonna do a wide mountain climber this time. I'm gonna do my best to keep my hips down. When you're in the plank for that long, it's all upper body, it's all core. That's why these exercises really hit the core in a functional dynamic method that you're not always on your back in your crunches. You have to attack it and use your body weight. All right. Are we ready? Hands under your shoulders. Four, three, tighten that core, go. Only about 30 seconds, drop those hips. If you're doing this version. Feel those shoulders, feel your core. Four, three, two, one. Oh. That was a little longer than 30, I think. Woo, you did it. Get your water. Hmm, how did you do? Now, if you were in a room with a lot of people back in the day, you'd give high fives. You're like, yeah. So give yourself a high five or a pat on the back or your mental pat on the back. Good job. Woo. If you just watch today, it's good to watch too. But you gotta do it. It's good to watch these workouts to get to know the form. Maybe break it apart if you're new. Do some of the planks, the plank punches, and always stick with that first variation. Even though there wasn't a lot of same exercise repetition, I was building on several. So you can always go back and master that first version and then build. Ooh. Notice I'm keeping the feet moving. All right. All right, keep those feet wide. 
We're just gonna bring it down, side to side, pushing those hips back. Notice I'm not bringing the hands up over your head. But you still have good form here, hinging at the hips. Now hold this one. Hold it, pivot, turn, and your runner stretch. Front knee over the heel, let's rotate. You can also do this one standing, same stretch. And you can rotate from here. Bring it down, walk it over to the center, both legs straight. Hands between your thighs. Fold yourself in two. Bend the knees, roll it up. Big shoulder roll, flat back down. Roll it up. Switch out, hold to this side. Hold it. Runner stretch, standing. Variation to that calf stretch. Your back leg is straight. You're pushing that heel back. If you want to rotate, Rotate here. Bring it to the center. Walk the hands out a little bit. Give me some heels and toes. Giving the ankles and feet a little attention here. Roll it up. Big shoulder roll. Right arm in front. Ah, uh, just that shoulder. Ah, uh, tricep. Bend that elbow, press that elbow in and down. My arms are really tight from yesterday's workout, so I'm just holding it where I feel that little bit of tension. Release it. Other arm. If you need more time stretching, do it. Lace the fingertips around the back. Inhale up. Exhale. Lace the fingertips behind. This is one of my favorite stretches. Back of the hands down. Open the chest. If you want, keep it all the way down. Keep pressing through the shoulders, moving down the back. Bend your knees, bring your hands to the floor, and walk out to a plank. Don't worry. I'm just gonna have you do a little upward facing dog. So just gonna bring the knees down. Uh, pull your abdominals in. If you want, put your toes down. I'll do it from the side. You can be right here. You don't have to look up, just lift the chest. Or you can have your knees down. It's a great stretch for the abs and it's great for the low back. Give me a child's pose here. Walk those hands in. Come on up. Take a nice big deep breath. Exhale, hands to your heart. Give yourself a little self-love here. Remember, you did something great for yourself. I truly believe when you do something for yourself, something healthy, you'll have 10 other healthy things in your day and you'll be a better person for those around you, your loved ones, your friends, your family, your community. Namaste. See you next time.